everyone, I'm Alou from Plans by Lulu and welcome on my channel. Today I am going to discuss my 2024 planned goals. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and let's go! So my first goal for 2024 is that the cutting of my type constellation I have now, which is like a season before, so not this summer's cutting, but a cutting from the summer before that. My goal is just for him to be healthy, for him to shine this summer, for him to grow, because for now he's kind of stuck at a teenager phase, I think. And I hope he will just be like his big mama and grow big lush in a constant pace that's what i uh, have said for him this year and you know i've seen comments that said like oh he's so big i wish mine was so big or oh it's not worth it to cut him but i had a good experience i thought it was fine it wasn't that late in the season i thought wrong um it was too late the days were too short already, it was too cold already, it, the sun was already like gone. So it wasn't the best timing, I've learned from that. And also it was kind of a pride thing when people came over, that's the thing they dwelled on. And you know, of course I, I was proud. Um, but it is also a reminder to keep in mind that life's not fixed. Plans are not fixed. You can try to do everything perfectly. You can try to be perfectly on schedule or tend to a plant in a perfect condition. But then, for example, you go for two weeks on vacation or you don't feel like it because of your mental health and then the plant is declining and then you give yourself the blame because it feels like that. However, plants are just constantly changing like us and so now I get to have the joy of following a plant's journey from small to like bigger to its fullest potential. So I'm not even that sad that the other one died. You know, I'm, yeah, he was big, but to be honest, and I said it already, I couldn't house him anymore. He became too big. And I felt a lot of guilt from that also. So now that he died, I don't have to worry about like that anymore. And I can just enjoy the growth of this cutting. The second goal for 2024 is that this area on the small table here does not grow well. The first year we came here, it was happy. Every plant on it was happy. And then the second and now the third year, none of the plants on the table is happy. And I honestly don't know if it's just that corner of the room that's just not happy because there's no draft. It is standing in sun if there is sun, but not too much. It is not too far into the room. So there are other plants that are doing great and that are farther in the room and they're the same kind of plant. So it shouldn't be that different. And I don't know what to tell you. I water them normally. There's nothing wrong with their watering. I, f I feed them. I don't know if you follow my journey with them, but I have chopped them in the past two years multiple times to get them kind of a fresh start and it doesn't matter which cutting I put there because I have shuffled some things around nothing is happy there as some of you may know because I already mentioned it in one of my videos I've changed that plant earlier this year there was a bigger plant and a taller plant and I thought maybe that takes away too much light even though I thought it didn't but you know I have not seen any improvement because we in winter and it's very dark here sometimes so there's not a lot of light not a lot of sun the third goal is I don't want any cacti to fall anymore in the last three years 
one cacti has fallen eight times now. The biggest one, which you saw in the last video, um, fell and so that one fell once now. And then there is another plant like in the very other corner, like the right corner. And that one has also fallen three times. And so it's a bit stupid in the sense that the ledge they're on above the heater is crooked. The problem I have with them is that when they grow towards the sun, they grow a bit crooked. And it only, you know, it only catches your eye when it happens. But because the ledge is like this, and this is the pot, and this is the cacti, you know, when you turn the cacti, it, it, it's double crooked. Because this is crooked. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain this, but that's essentially the problem I'm having constantly. And so my third goal is to just be mindful and to just look maybe every day or every week if they need turning. So my fourth goal for 2024 is that I am going to purge some plants. Why? I think I do this every year, purging plants. But this year, and I know I make it busy for myself, but because I have a lot of plants, I notice that when I water them, because I have a time limit and because I'm very busy, I'm just watering them. I'm not very attentive to them anymore. I, in a haste, I will check if they don't have pests just to check, but I'm not like enjoying giving water anymore. I'm not enjoying looking at them as much as I had. And that is because I'm sometimes overwhelmed with the amount I have. I honestly am not sure which plants, how much, where, you know. If I am removing one plant in a set of plants, I have to remove somewhere else a plant because otherwise it's not in balance anymore. So I know that and that's why I'm not sure how much yet. Going to number five is accepting and this isn't really something with the plants, it's more something about the plants. Accepting that if a plant is not doing great, fully accepting that it's not doing great. I tend to like, because I'm somewhat of a perfectionist sometimes in some areas of my life, so I tend to, just for the sake of getting visitors, buy a whole new plant, just for two euro. And I have to stop with that. It gives me more anxiety than I think it should give me. It also um, is not necessary. And I also worry a lot when I have a plant and I see that plant in a garden center when I'm there because I'm not going anymore that often. But when I go, uh, for example, I see it there. I'm always worrying like, what if my plant decides to die like in the next week? Maybe I should buy this. And I don't, I don't buy it because then I would have duplicates of every plant all over my place and that's not practical but I think there is some kind of anxiety around that just because of the loss of a plant because I have that happen to me that I saw it somewhere online or in a garden center and I thought no I have one at home and then that one like died within three days out of nowhere and then it was out of stock and it never came back and so those plans are still on my wish list and I still don't know if they're ever coming back and I know like ever is a big word but <laughs> I know somewhere there's a probability they just come back sometime. So those are my five goals for 2024. I hope you liked this video. Do you have goals for this year? And if so, please let me know which, which they are, because I'm very curious. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And I will see you in the next video. 
Doei!